from The Home Blondie and in this video we are going to be making a DIY doormat for the fall season. So I picked up this pumpkin doormat from Joanne Fabrics a couple of weeks ago. I knew I was going to be making a DIY doormat and I just thought the pumpkin shape was perfect. I don't know if it's still in stock but if it is I will link it below. It was $14.99. And I'm taking the inspiration for this DIY doormat from one that I found on Etsy. So if you are not the DIY type, you could go and purchase a similar one on Etsy. I'll try to link that below as well, but I'm not going to do the exact same thing. I'll pop it up on the screen here. But what I loved about it were the colors that she used in the word pumpkin. And then I also like the cursive font of the word everything, but I think instead I'm going to do hey there pumpkin rather than pumpkin everything, although I think that's really cute too. I just don't want to completely copy that design. So taking the inspiration from that photo, I went over to Michael's and I picked out some paint colors. So I am using the Americana paint and I got the colors Canyon Orange, Coral Blush, and Dried Clay. And I'm trying to decide if I want to use white or black for the words, hey there. I would rather use white because I feel like things that are light and bright are just more of my style. So I think I'll start with white and see how it shows up on the doormat. And if it's not showing up very well, then I'll go over it with black. And I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to cut out this design. So let's get started. Okay, so I just made the design on Cricut Design Space. This is the software that you download when you purchase a Cricut. And I always get my fonts from this website called dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And then you can choose like, uh, what type of font that you want. So I did calligraphy and then I type in like, what I wanted to say here and then scroll through and find one that I like. And I think that this time I used, um, I can't find it on here <laughs> right now, but I think it was called Darloon. So next I have to measure the width of the doormat so that I can make the sizing correct on here. And then we will cut it out using the Cricut machine. Okay, now I'm just attaching my vinyl to these sticky sheets that come with the Cricut, or actually, I don't know if they come with it. You might have to purchase them separately. I can't remember. Um, but once we have this already, we will insert it into the Cricut machine and it will cut out our design for us. Okay, so I have my Cricut paired to my laptop and I already set the material to vinyl. Sometimes I do it between vinyl and iron-on so it just really like cuts through really well. So now we can just press go. And this part is always fun to watch it start cutting. Okay, so I just took this weeding tool and pulled off all of the like in-between parts of the letters. So like the inside of the P and like the inside of the cursive H and E and Y. Um, I don't know if that makes more sense seeing it there, but now I'm going to pull off like all of the extra material so that only the letters are still like on here. <laughs> so let me just show you how I do that. Oh my gosh, I am an idiot. I swear I do this every time. Okay, this is a rookie mistake. I clearly haven't used my Cricut in a while. Um, okay, so I am doing this wrong, but let me show you what my mistake is. Okay, so I just took off like the outside so only the letters are left but because I'm wanting to use this as a stencil and paint in the letters, I should have weeded out the letters and kept 
like the outside so I could stick that part onto the doormat. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to redo this, but I'm glad that happened so that I could show you what not to do because it's hard to like wrap your brain around that and I feel like I make that mistake all of the time. So, okay, now we will reprint this and redo it. Okay, round two. So I cut out the word. I had to switch over to gold foil because I was out of black vinyl or I at least didn't have enough for this entire project. So now what I'm going to do is cut out the actual letters or weed out the letters. That way we have a stencil that we can put on the doormat and paint over. So wish me luck that I do this correct this time. So now we're going to peel this entire sticker off of both of these and put it on the doormat. So let me show you that. Okay, I've got my vinyl laid out here like a stencil. Honestly, it is not like sticking amazingly. So I'm a little nervous, especially for like these little ones that I had to put in there. Um, I don't know how well those are gonna stay in place, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to paint in the letters and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I'm all finished painting. So it was really hard for me to keep the letter spacers in. You can see this one fell out, that one stayed. And then I'm really nervous about how this area is going to turn out because I could not keep those tiny spacers in there. And the lettering is so thin. If I were to do this again, I would do a thicker font there. So hopefully it turns out, but I don't know, we'll see. So now it's time to peel off the stencil. So let's do it. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. It is seriously perfect. I cannot believe that area turned out as good as it did. I am so happy with it. I know that this part could be a little more pigmented. I could go over it with another coat of paint, but I'm not too worried about it. So now let's get it set up at my front door. All right, and that's how it turned out. I think it looks really good and it will look even better once I get some pumpkins out here and Harvey is trying to get out. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have so many friends and family members who have asked me, how do I subscribe to your YouTube channel? And if you have a Gmail account, YouTube is owned by Google, so it's so easy. You just have to log in with your Gmail account and then you'll have a YouTube account and then you can subscribe to my channel. So that is it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.